If you've walked down State Street lately, you may have noticed some new artistic additions. Part of what makes Santa Barbara such a beautiful, um, often idyllic place is the, the culture of creation and creators who live here and help contribute to that, that community fabric. And those creators have created new sculptures for the 2018 State of the Art Gallery. We're really excited to have sculptures back out on State Street. They had a lot of visual appeal to the street, and that's important for downtown vibrancy. According to the 2016 Creative Community Report, Santa Barbara is ranked ninth out of 367 municipalities for working artists per capita. And this art exhibition is a fun way of connecting people to art. Our great hope is the State of Art Gallery will be a living museum on State Street that can engage our residents, our shopkeepers, our store owners, our visitors, and provide everyone a different way to commune with the arts and our local artists. Eight sculptures made by local artists have been placed along State Street from Ortega up to Victoria Street. Each sculpture offers a unique element that centers around celebrating Santa Barbara's culture, spirit, and resilience. The mailbox project was inspired because our town really needed a voice. We, the people really needed, I think, to be able to tell their stories. Two natural disasters in a row hit us kind of hard. The two recent natural disasters were also an inspiration for the sculpture Permission to Heal. Artist Brooke Smiley used the mud from Montecito to form a super adobe structure in the shape of the Venus of Willendorf to allow people to take pause and reflect. Our bodies want to want to interact with art and um, processing those emotions about the disaster or how we connect to one another in this community. It's a joy, it's a total gift to be able to have created this here. Leaves of Grass artist Patty Firestone says sculptures teach an invaluable lesson. The, one of the things I think is most important about sculpture is you have an idea and then you have to make it concrete. And then how many parts of our lives, whether it be a small business, you want to, you have an idea and you need to see how to make it happen. And with sculpture, you have an idea and you figure out how to make it happen. You find the right people, you find the right materials. In addition to the lessons to be learned, the State of the Art Gallery exhibition also brings a much needed boost in the foot traffic on State Street. Art and cultural activities bring people downtown. They get people shopping, moving about, and we want people to go check out an exhibit, come downtown and see the sculptures, go out to dinner afterwards. Maybe you can browse some of our, the shops downtown. It's really important to have uh, a thriving experience when you come downtown. Sculptor Luis Vasquez says art on State Street can be used as a focal point when traversing the downtown corridor. For someone to, to be like, you know what, let's go, to San, let's, go, let's go to Santa Barbara and, you know, let's go downtown Santa Barbara and we can meet where the paper aer aer airplane is. Um, that kind of like, that point where, where friends can meet and explore the rest of the city. <laughs> The State of the Art Gallery is not a new concept for Santa Barbara. Originally, it was a partnership between the city, the downtown organization, and the redevelopment agency. In 2011, the California State Supreme Court ruled to dissolve all redevelopment agencies in California. Without the funding from the redevelopment agency, the State of the Art Gallery exhibition could not continue. But now, after 10 years... The State of the Art is back! Yeah. Yeah. It's really great that, uh, um, that the city and, and, and all of these art programs are coming together to, to uh, really support artists and young, young coming artists from, from, from Santa Barbara. The State of the Art Gallery exhibition is made possible with funding support from the city, Santa Barbara Beautiful, and in partnership with the Santa Barbara Museum of Art, the Museum of Contemporary Art, the County Arts Commission, and the Arts Collaborative. There's so many people that stop and notice the art, and I'm only here a fraction of the time, but every time I'm here I see people stop and interact with it. They really love it. Even though this is the first year back for the arts exhibition, artists and spectators seem to be taking an interest in the sculptures and hope it will be back for years to come. Well, I think anytime you put art out there and it's well received and people are interacting with it, then that's the biggest form of 
crazy you can get as an artist. So I'm just I'm really happy people understand the importance of why it's there and how it can be used and who it can serve. I think it can serve everybody.